Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I wanted to make this video to wake some people up. On there was a um, there was an agnostic. He was saying um, he was saying, "Oh, I don't believe in the existence of God, but once I see some evidence, I'll consider it." And then I'm thinking to myself, "Wait, what do you mean evidence? Are you, do you not? Are you blind? Do you not see the?" same things that I see you don't see all these trees you don't see all these mountains you don't see the sun you don't see the sky I mean you think all of that just came into ex all that beauty just came into existence on its own and there was no divine intervention I mean I now I understand that some people they're living under a rock there's just like the Bible says, professing to be wise, they became fools. And now that I, the more I talk to agnostics and how they talk about, oh, they'll consider the existence of God when they see some evidence. I'm like, are you not evidence that God exists? Is your consciousness not evidence that he exists? How much more evidence do you need? Do you want God to physically come down to you and say, look, I exist for you to start believing in him? That's the point of faith. You, How much more evidence do you need to have faith? Look at all the beauty of this world. I mean, is that not enough? Is creation not enough? You think everything came out of nothing? And then nothing made everything? How, how, how does that... How come you don't need... You don't need evidence to believe that how does that make sense to you i mean most of the scholars and the people that profess to be scholars and they're educated they claim and they they'll believe the the idea that all this came out of nothing they'll believe that but they but they'll bash the one and only true religion which is christianity I mean, some people really need to wake up. I mean, you have the same eyes I do. You have the same ears as I do. How do you not see the same things that I see? What else do you want God to do for, God to do for you to start believing in Him? Is this not enough? Is all this creation not enough? Wow, some people... If you're one of these people, please... Um, Get up under that rock, take your head out the sand, open up your eyes. You no, we're we're living in the end of times and you guys are still talking about how how you'll consider God's existence once you see evidence. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. And like some people claim it takes more faith to be an atheist than it takes to be a Christian. So all you atheists and agnostics bashing Christianity you have more faith since you since through faith you believe that all this came out of nothing while you bash religion that doesn't make sense so you you people that are denying God's existence you really need to wake up and most people and some people I, I should say uh, they don't even deny God's existence they just say just because um, I choose not to believe in God because I don't want to be held responsible for my actions. Well, just because you choose not to believe in Him, that doesn't mean He doesn't exist. And you truly know in your heart He just exists. He exists. You just, you're just rebelling against Him, thinking that He won't, He won't condemn you on Judgment Day, when in reality you're wrong. So please, please wake up, people, who are in the last. We're in the end of times, actually, and this argument of evidence for God, you need evidence to, and you once you see evidence and you'll start believing in God, that's, I mean, some people, even if God came down from heaven and stood in front of you, you, some people wouldn't even believe it, they'll just assume, oh, that was an illusion, that was my mind, it's the... It's the medication this doctor prescribed that was, that was, that's playing tricks on my mind. I mean, this world is, I'm out of words, honestly, and 
in the bottom of this message, I have a, in the bottom of this video, I have a message, please, even if that soul does not save us, even if that soul, even if that message doesn't bring a soul for the rapture, at least the people that have read that message, and once the rapture happens, they'll realize that they read about it, and they'll wake up, they'll turn to Christ, because they realize all the things that are going to happen during the tribulation, they're going to get reminded of the message, so... Please, anything you can do to spread that message, please spread it. If you're going to print it out and give it to someone, if you're going to copy paste it on a social network, anything you can, please spread that message and all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him. Thanks for listening.